Number 61, we're supposed to multiply the fractions uh, in order to, or I'm sorry, divide by the, divide the fractions. In order to divide, we need to convert these to improper fractions first. To, to do that, we'll take 2 times 4, which is 8, add the 3, which is 11. So you've got 11 fourths divided by 1 times 8 is 8, plus 5 makes 13 eighths. Nice thing is, when you're multiplying and dividing, you don't need a common denominator. But then the, the pain in the butt is dividing by 13 eighths. Dividing by a fraction is a royal pain. So they uh, told you to look at page 915, the skill review. And they talked there about how dividing by a fraction is going to give you an equivalent expression is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, the flip of the fraction, or how I like to remember it is KFC. Keep the first fraction, so we kept 11 fourths. Flip the second fraction, 13 eighths flipped is 8 thirteenths, and then change the symbol from division to multiplication. So we get uh, 11 times 8 is 88 in the numerator. 4 times 13 is going to be 52 in the denominator. They're both even, so they're divisible by 2. That would reduce to, what, 44 over 26. Still both even, uh, 22 over 13. Can't reduce any further than that. 13 goes into 22 one time, and that would relieve a remainder. Let's see, 13 to 22 would be, uh, 13 to 20 is 7, and another 2 would make 9 thirteenths. Now, you could have also helped yourself reduce it right away by recognizing 8 on top and 4 on bottom. They're both divisible by 4. So divide this by 4, you get 2. Divide this by 4, you get 1. In the numerator, 11 times 2 is 22. Denominator, 1 times 13 is 13, which at this point is the same right there. You'll end up at 1 and 9 thirteenths.